Hey Gail, welcome to Crunch Report. Hey, thanks so much for having me here. Of course, of course. Do you want to start off by telling us a little bit about your book? Sure. So I wrote Cracking the Coding Interview, which is, well, I've written a couple different books, but that's my most well-known one. And it's basically the major book that programmers get to prepare for interviews at companies like Google, Facebook, you know, LinkedIn, lots of companies like that. Software engineering 101, how to get a job type book. Yeah, and diving deeply into technical stuff. So how do you actually answer those kind of technical questions effectively? Absolutely. So I hear tech companies these days are all about fun, right? You've got nap pods, fridges, games, uh, overall chillness. So I thought we would go ahead and start this off by having a fun technical interview where I'm the interviewer and we're playing a game. Because what's, nothing, what's more fun than a technical interview uh, With for multiple fun? distractions? Yes, exactly. Awesome. Yeah. OK. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start. So the first question that I have for you is, a chicken has exactly 673.5 feathers. I start plucking the feathers, and at a certain point, the chicken ceases to be a chicken. The thing is, I don't know whether it's still a chicken or not until I submit it for review, and once I do that, I have to move on to a new chicken regardless of the answer. How many chickens do I need to figure out this whole feather thing? 42. Really? Yep. OK, next question. What's a function that allows me to teleport from this chair to a ter terminal at Google's Mountain View campus? Probably the Google Shuttle. Nice move. And last question. I want to validate my binary Christmas tree. It's about yay high, but it's turning brown. I'd say you probably want to compare the heights of the left and right tree, make sure it doesn't fall over. It's just one tree. Left and right subtrees. Oh. There's multiple ah. trees within the tree. True, true, very true. OK, so as is standard with this kind of interview, it would make sense for you to ask me a couple of questions, right, to debrief. So what kind of questions do you have for me as an interviewer? Ooh, as an interviewer. What made you want to join TechCrunch? Oh, of course, for Tito. Ah, of course. The hair? The hair. I understand. Man, this Connect Four thing is really heating up. <laughs> Let's dive into a couple more things. Hiring seems to be pretty screwed up in the valley. What do you think the problem is, and how would you fix it? I mean, I think fundamentally the problem is there's just everybody wants to find the best engineers, and well, there aren't that many great engineers in the entire world. There aren't that many great anything. It's not a you know special thing for engineers. There aren't a you know an infinite number of great doctors either. So there's just a shortage. So everyone's tackling the same type of people. And would you say because of that, you end up with this bubble problem in the valley? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's there. I mean, I think the bubble is you have a lot of excitement around startups, a lot of money around, and a lot of people trying, starting for the cool thing, and everyone trying, everyone's trying to start a company. So how do you bring in more diverse people into the valley? You know, I think a lot of it is getting willing to understand that, look, a lot of great engineers go to, you know, attend at Stanford and other top schools, but there are a whole lot of non-top schools, a whole lot more non-top schools over top schools. So you're going to have to look at people who don't have CS degrees, who have degrees in other things, who never went to college at all, and just diversify who you're willing to look at. Now, do you think that uh, hey, wait, companies did you just should? Cheat? You um, just cheated. Yes, I did. You weren't paying attention. <laughs> but but I, I was paying attention. Well, you it can, seems you cheated. You, you can stop me. You can stop me. All right. All right. Or, or just keep moving if you want. Oh no, yeah, I'm I'm getting I'm going to catch up. Wait, okay. wait, I'm going to catch up here. Okay. Okay. You got five moves here. I'm going to catch up here. All right, let's see. Wow. Hmm. So if you're Facebook or Google, how do you think you should change your interview practices in order to attract some of those more diverse individuals? So I mean, one piece of the problem, I think, is just preparing candidates more. Getting, you know, understand that a lot of, I just see you just won. Shoot. Um, I, I see a I lot of it candidates don't know that don't know what they have to do to prepare for interviews. So getting everybody on the same page and getting interviewers on the same page and making, making sure everyone's aligned with what their expectations are. Outside of your work in technical hiring, what else do you do? I hear you're up to some M&A things these days. Yeah, so I kind of split my work between the candidate side and the, oh, wait, you didn't win. Seriously? She won. Ah. <laughs> so yeah, so I split my work between candidates and companies. So I work with a lot of companies going through startups to help them coach them through interviews. So they get, their employees are going to get interviewed essentially for their own jobs. And so I help, I get brought in by startups to help them prepare for those interviews. Then I also work with the other side and help companies on how to hire engineers, doing interview training, things like that. And now this isn't M&A specifically, but more on the finance side. Today, of course, is snap earnings. What do you think is going to happen? You know, I think I have, I, I don't understand how to use Snapchat already, but I think I even have less understanding of the finance side here. But um, I'm going to go with up. Up? Yeah. So, it's gonna go so up. good. Yes. 
after hours is going to go up. And Absolutely. Good news from them. Absolutely. All right. Based let's... on no research whatsoever. All right. Well, we'll, we'll trust you 100% and, and we'll actively be trading on that account. <laughs> All right. Let's wrap this up. Thanks so much for coming on. I hate yeah. that you won. Thanks so much for having me on. Letting me win. Did not let you win. We'll see. Um, <laughs> next time. All right, then. Now back to you, Tito.